Hello, YouTube. I just wanted to cover uh, something with you. This guy, Rap the News, uh, we've been going back and forth here, and he's blocked me. Yet he puts videos out, calling everybody else out, calling them cowards and things like that. He's bad mouthing Christians, and he's bad mouthing the New Testament, and he's bad mouthing Jesus. I want you to listen to a couple things here, and then I'm going to comment on it, okay? Here we go. Basically, don't call on the name of Jesus in the end time. I'm telling you, you're going to fail. You better be calling on God. And there you go. Don't call on the name of Jesus, he says. Are you going to fail? All right. And he's got another video that he just came up with. He's calling everybody under the sun cowards and everything else. Yet he's blocked me. But he's, but he's screaming and yelling and, and he's calling everybody else cowards and saying that... Uh, you know they 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 don't they don't have the guts to have a dialogue with him. Well, I've got a gut the guts to have dialogue with him, but the, he's a, he's a coward. He's the coward. So I want you to listen to this, okay? We all know time is of the essence, and as we all know, Christians have already been deceived with things like Christmas and Easter, and a lot of paganistic rituals inside of Christianity that don't belong. But there's a whole lot more that Christians are being deceived by and are waking up to as we speak. So everybody that I know should be on my team and helping me with this, you know. And so these challenges are going out right now because time is of the essence. We are running out of time, people, you know. And straightway, your leader is a coward. So is all these camps and all that, they're cowards. They haven't came to see me. They're not addressing nothing. They can't prove anything that I'm saying is wrong. Nobody should even be going to those camps. Nobody should even be following straightway. Deborah Yah, Pastor Dow, and all of them damn Hebrew, stupid paleo speaking camps. They can't even speak that right. Straightway, again, your leader is a coward. Why, why be under a leader that ain't is scared, that's scared to stand up to another man, you know, and be... So yeah, that, there you go, Rap. You're you're scared to stand up to another man because you blocked me. You ain't got any guts. You're trying to be tough because you're behind a keyboard. Yet you have no idea what you're even talking about. You're making the same mistake that Dow makes. He throws, you know, Catholicism in with Christianity, and and though you know there are some Christian churches. You know, the ecumenical movement, you know, that's trying to blend with Catholicism, not all Christian churches do that. Just like there's divisions within the black Hebrew Israelite camps, okay? I almost said cult there, because that's exactly what they are. Um, here's my comment to you that you've blocked, okay? Notice that it says here, no comments. No comments. Yet I've got this big long comment here. Okay? Now, I go to another browser, and my comment's not here. Look, I'll refresh it for you. As we all know, time is of the essence. Yeah, it's of the essence, all right. You're the guy that needs to get in gear. There's, see, there you see it. No comments. He's blocked me. You're the coward, Rap. You. You're the uneducated, foul-mouthed, rude, aggressive <laughs> guy here that has no clue what he's talking about. Okay? Now I'm going to enlighten you on the same thing that I've enlightened Pastor Dow about. I call him cult leader Dow. Um, here we go. And here's my comment to you, Rap, since you don't, you're not man enough to let me post it, okay? Um, Rap, you're one brick short of a load. That said, though I respect your passion, your doctrine and understanding of scriptures is, beyond, is in beyond gross error. I'll give you an example. You, just like cult leader Dow, are claiming that all Christians celebrate pagan, pagan holidays and or pagan Sabbath. Same is simply not true and is a lie of the devil. 
as Christians were first called Christian in Antioch over roughly 300 years before the Catholic Church was even formed in approximately 318 to 325 AD by Constantine. I quote, the Roman Catholic Church contends that its origin is the death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ in approximately uh, 30 AD. The Catholic Church proclaims itself to be the church that Jesus Christ died for, the church that was established and built by the apostles. It is the true is that the true origin of the Catholic Church? Question mark. On the contrary, even a cursory reading of the New Testament will reveal that the Catholic Church does not have its origin in the teachings of Jesus or his apostles. In the New Testament, there is no mention of the papacy, worship, admiration of Mary, or the Immaculate uh, Conception of Mary, uh, perpetual virginity of Mary, the Assumption of Mary, or Mary as co redemix or meteor tricks. Petitioning saints in heaven for their prayers, apostic, uh, apostolic secession and ordinances of church functioning as sacrament, sacraments, uh, infant baptism, confession of sins to a priest, purgatory indulgences, or equal authority of the church tradition and scripture. So if the origin of the Catholic Church is not in the teachings of Jesus and his apostles as recorded in the New Testament, what is the true origin of the Catholic Church? For the first 280 years of the Catholic, excuse me, of the first 200 years of Christian history, Christianity was banned by the Roman Empire. The Christians were terribly persecuted. This changed uh, after the conversion of the Roman Emperor Constantine. Constantine provided religious uh, uh, toleration of the Edict of Milan and uh, in AD 313, effectively lifting the ban on Christianity. Later, in AD 325, Constantine called the Council of Nicaea Nicaea in an attempt to unify Christianity. Constantine envisioned Christianity as a religion that could unite the Roman Empire, which at the time was beginning to fragment and divide. While this may have seemed to be a positive development in the Christian Church, the results were anything but positive. Just as Constantine refused to fully embrace the true the Christian faith, but continued many of his pagan beliefs and practices. So the Christian church that Constantine promoted was a mixture of true Christianity and Roman paganism. Did you get it? You flipping nutcase? You and Dow both are on the same page. You're fighting, you know, you're like two ticks feeding off each other with bad information. So, you know, you're the coward rap. And Dowell's the same way. He's got me blocked as well. You know, so I think you're both worthless. And you're both leading people straight to hell by teaching false doctrine. So that's it. You're busted. I'm calling you out. I'm posting this. And let the ashes fall where they may. I pretty much had it with you. Okay? God bless you and repent, would you? Time is short. At least you got that much right. Thank <laughs> you.